Yep, I got one of those too. Just like when you need a hat, but it doesn't need to keep you warm. You just want a hat. And then the one that actually yeah. keeps you warm. It's hat. like a three season hat. So tonight you've got mm. the special warmth hat. The winter hat, yeah. Winter hat. One season hat. Oh, I didn't mean to move that over. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the show. Hello, it's Thursday night. We are doing this stream because our season had to be postponed slightly because he ate garbage. Um, I don't know why. Um, maybe times are tough and he's got to eat spoiled food. But uh, he did. And so that's what happened. That is what happened. I... Uh, I'm not currently down. I don't currently really have food poisoning. I'm pretty much recovered now. What did you eat? Oh, it took a, it took a while. I ate. I made myself a vegetable smoothie. Low. Oh my god. I will tell you what I ate after I turn everything up. Boy, it is really loud already. I'm amazed that that is not loud enough. Multiple people are saying it's soft. Okay. We'll see what I can do. Are we on the uh, Are we on the uh, webcam mic or something like that? Snap your fingers under that mic. Huh? Maybe it's using the wrong audio. That's what I just said. Yeah, that's what you just said. No, that's the right one. So you made an adjustment? Uh, I did what I could. Folks uh, reporting anything? Kevin says too loud. <laughs> okay. But Kevin, is it Kevin Campbell? Yeah. He's a fucking prankster. Yeah, he's messing around. <sighs> Sounds okay to me. All right, well, I've got it as loud as I can get it, so turn up your speakers, and we'll be good. Anyway, um, I, was, I, I make these uh, vegetable smoothies. As do I. Very healthy and very tasty, um, but you can't let them sit for too many days. Oh, you don't want to let them sit for one day. I let them sit for three. Oh, no. Normally. Now, on the third day, it does tend to make my stomach a little, you know, I'm just like, eh, maybe it's not always best on the third day. But I don't eat that much. Of it on the third day. They, they give you the shits for some reason. Yeah. I'm but, not sure why. Well, I mean, it's just like concentrated vegetable. It's vegetable matter. It's supposed yeah. to. But what happened was I had skipped a day and it was the fourth day away from the origin of the vegetables. And the kale at that point, when I made the smoothie, had already been, you know, bordering on iffy. So it, this was. Wilty. Yeah. This was, uh, this was a risk. And I was just, I was, I was having this day where I was like, Today's just going to be one of those days where, like, everything I do is going to be bad. And it's going to come out of me at both ends. Yeah. And so that's what happened. Uh, I, I drank it on the fourth day, and that I've never done that before, and that's I paid for it. Okay, I have uh, some advice for you. Yes? When you make a smoothie, just make one day's worth and drink it all. And then just make a smoothie every day. But it day. takes like 15 minutes to Why? make those fucking things. Because I got all the different ingredients. How many? You, you have... 50 ingredients? No. Like nine? That's not a lot. It's like all the different. Uh, it's just. I can't even. I'll, I'm going to do two days, I think. It just. It's. It Make it. It's a, just a morning ritual. Yeah, I'm going to do two days from now on. Listen to a podcast. That way while, I'm drinking it within 24 that's hours. That's what I do. While you're making it. I listen to a podcast while I'm making my smoothie, while I'm making dinner. What podcast? Usually WTF. Or, or a comedy album. We had a super, super chat from Nick who says, I'm a take gray. I'm a take gray. I'm a take. I'm going to drink beer. Now that I'm better, I can have this. It's from Mel. Mel's beer subscription. Uh, this is the Brown Cow Brown Beer. I'm a take gray is one of our worst songs. Second only to <laughs> Jess is going to the bathroom. Oh, I don't remember that one. Jess yeah, is going to the bathroom. Yes, he's going to the bathroom. Was that in the video? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. I do and, and after you sang it, I proclaimed that to be the worst song <laughs> ever on the show. And it stands the test of time. Do I you think, think there's a worse one? 
I think it's on the it's on the Fireball Island episode or the other one from that night because mm-hmm. it was Jess and Brad. I taste brown. I taste very brown. It's good. It's really good. So anyway, oh, um, uh, folks, we're drinking uh, brown. I, I mentioned it. See, you do it too sometimes. Um, <laughs> because I had food poisoning. By the way, if you tuned in because you're just like, oh, they're gonna get food poisoning on the show. Cool, I'm gonna watch. <laughs> that's that's when, as far as we know, that's not happening. Um, I you know I ate some more stuff today that could potentially be iffy, but hopefully not. Well, stop eating those things. It, it, it wasn't really. It was fine. What? It's fine. I didn't yet. I didn't eat anything. Um, I just had some chili in a can. I'm sure that's fine. That's not gonna poison me. Well, leave it sit sit out for six days and then eat it. No, that seems I don't to do be that. your practice. I don't do that. Oh, we got another super chat. It's too far away for me to read. Your one, two, three, four Slade remix was great. That's a classic. Oh yeah. Um, actually, and then we we did a uh, we didn't do like someone else added a beat to it and combined it with the original like music video. Uh, that video is out there somewhere and it's really great. Oh, did I see that? Yeah, I, I vaguely remember that. So like, I, I like when people make remix videos of our show. I do too. I, I wish people would do it more often. I think it's like the best, one of the best things ever to come of our stuff, our random stupid things that we do. Um, so anyway, welcome to the stream. Hope you're having a good night. This is the replacement for what should have been the regular Beer and Board Games episode that was going to come out tonight. The season premiere. Um, and it, it, it couldn't because I was just, I could barely walk. I could barely walk. I had to crawl to my kitchen to get some water the, the very first morning after I was sick. How many days were you sick? Uh, like really sick, like two. Wow. And then I had a couple nights where I was just kind of feverish and then it went away. What is the possibility? I, I'm not, I don't even want to bring this up because I don't want to encourage you to eat questionable food with a false sense of security. <laughs> what is the possibility that you just got stomach flu? Um, it's, I mean, there's, there's a chance. That's but there's a pretty clear correlation between. Yeah, it seemed like at least physically, sit. not to get in too much detail, that there was just like one sort of block of experiences, and then yeah. I was all set. Vomit. No vomit. Oh, okay. So, uh, and then, yeah, and then I was just weak and like wasted and just like could barely do anything. Did you get the shivers? Yeah. Yeah, those are bad. Yeah, that first night. Uh, I didn't get the sweats till later, but, like, the shivers were, were, man, I just couldn't get warm. I had, like, three layers of clothing and all my bed clothes. And... There was this dodgy Chinese buffet downtown uh, when I used to work at the bookstore, and it gave me food poisoning twice, and I just kept going back <laughs> like an idiot. The food was so good. <laughs> just, it's worth it. But I would, I just got, like, shivers... And just weak feeling. I didn't have any intestinal. Really? Yeah. So I, I, I assume it was food poisoning, but I'm not positive. Yeah. I think that's probably what it is. Yeah. And just this general feeling of yeah, not, I'm not, of awfulness. I'm not well. But no other symptoms. So like. No other symptoms. And it went away the next day. Yeah. Like, it was only a 24 hour thing. That's cool. All right. If you have food poisoning stories, you can send them to us. Care of beer and board games. Two, one thirty-eight Samurai Haberdashery, Michigan, Wisconsin, Pork. Um, Sloth Junior Super Chats, Aaron's Fresh Kale Fund. Yeah, I don't have one at the moment. Do you buy kale in a bag? Yeah. No, I get it fresh and put it in a bag. Yeah, I used to do that and I got lazy. Yeah, so you know, you just get the easy... I do that with spinach. I do the easy spinach. Actually, I get the um, the power blend from the co-op. It comes in a plastic box. It's got spinach and kale and a couple other weird things. I could just do that. I but use then, that. Does that really... Some of those things don't really work in smoothies that well, I don't think. They work fine. They work just as, just as well as kale. Would you do kale and spinach? Yeah. Well, it's, and it's, carrots. Carrots. And almonds. And almonds. a bunch of fruit. Blueberries? Yeah. Acai? No, raspberries, mangoes, peaches. Oh, mangoes and peaches got a lot of sugar in them. Yeah. But, you know, it's like, it's got to taste good, too. Why would you put whole almonds in a smoothie? Oh, it's great. And then you have little crunchy bits to chew on with your smoothie. It's supposed to be better because of the, this is exciting stuff. No, people are interested in this stuff. (laughs) 
It's better for your digestion to have some like solid chunks to chew because your body fiber. takes the nutrients in better. Okay. That's and all, what it, and it's also fiber. That's what I hear tell. How about a shot? Oh, <laughs> okay. If you insist. Sean says a shot of his, Sean Henry says a shot of his choice for Matt for heroically braving the snow popcorns and getting over to Aaron. Yeah, it's a good thing you didn't have to come over last night. It, last night was much worse, but it's pretty bad tonight, and this weekend it's going to be in the 40s. So thank you, climate change. Despite the wisdom of our president, don't you it's, mean it's a problem? Global waning? Is, is that one of his tweets? <laughs> that was what he tweeted. <laughs> Global waming. So wame. I thought I'd call putty tag. <laughs> global waming, depending on how you pronounce it. Well, if I'm going to take a shot, I'm going to use one of our brand new shot glasses that was sent to us by our friend in Finland. Her name is... Alina. Alina. She sent us a whole box of stuff, which we'll get to eventually after Matt stops with all the crank laying. I can't help it. Uh... Oh, we got a super chat here. It looks like I'll be taking a shot as well from Sam Dean. Take a shot, Aaron. Good day, Matt. Hi, Courtney. Hello, Sam. And a super chat from Blue, the blue guy, who says, Aaron eats old food to get prepared for hobo life. That gave me a new appreciation for the Hobo Tough Life video game uh, that we've been playing on GSP. And now I understand more about, like, when you eat food out of the garbage, why you would start to feel sick. Look at that. Holy Those are shit. cool. They have mooses on them. Isn't that cool? That's awesome. And they're like blue on the inside. Look at this. I'll go get a booze. No, you don't have to go anywhere anymore. Oh. Look at, first of all, open the drawer of this cabinet. <gasps> yep, you'll never have to get out of your seat again, Matt. Well, it's not going to be able to be there, though, because there's going to be a camera here during the show. Oh, well, I mean, we can back it up. We'll back it up. You're a fine motherfucker. Won't you back that card up? <laughs> <laughs> Looks like it's uh, ready to go. Relatively clean. Yep. Cleansing uh, breaths. Yeah, cleansing breaths. All right, these shots are from Sean and Sam. Sam. Okay, Sean Henry, thank you. Sam Dean, thank you. Oh, uh, I'll get down to it. Best song is Go To Casino. Oh, yeah, definitely. Oh, it is a good song. It really is. Spend all your money. Watch it all disappear. Etc. Etc. Uh, so, one thing that I want, I want to order a business I wanted to uh, go over. The episode that was supposed to come out today and didn't, uh, we were going to be playing this game. Um, which is, has a, they have a highly successful Kickstarter going on right now. And... It's only on for a little bit longer. We will still have an episode of it coming out next week, but it's just going to nick the end of their uh, Kickstarter. And so we wanted to talk a little bit about it tonight because uh, we feel bad that we missed, because of my food poisoning, we missed our window slightly. Are we giving this away? Yes. Okay, we should talk about that. Um, every $20 you donate tonight gets you in the drawing for... Our second to last copy of Rolf. We're giving away Rolf. If you end up already having it, we can give away one of these other games back here, not three on the bottom. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. Okay, and, well. Uh, if you donate, uh, then you're going to get one entry. Every $20 gets you one entry. Um, there you go. And we got another super chat before I get back to this game. B. Thomas. Marini says, you two should legally change your names to Aaron Beer and Matt Board Games, respectively. I would change my middle name to Board Games. Matt Board Games Sloan. Yes. Aaron then I, Beer I, Then I wouldn't have to share a name with Paul Guzzi. Would I would have to be Aaron Beer and Yanda to get all the words in. Eh. You don't have to be a stickler. Boy, Super Chats are flying in. Neil Pound says, Aaron, why did you lie about food poisoning? I will never forgive you. <laughs> <laughs> Neil, I wore my pajamas tonight just to show you that I 
am still recovering from you, you know, deadly when, food poisoning. When you called me, you sounded fine. You're yeah. like, I'm really sick. Yeah. I got food poisoning. Yeah, I was I was pretending to cough and stuff like that, and like, oh, he was God. he was doing the call in sick to work voice. Uh, I I really can't come in. I'm, I'm, just, <laughs> I'm not feeling well. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. Are those Thanks. seagulls? Uh, no, that's my bowels moving. <laughs> Are you are you on a boat? <laughs> I, I I gotta go. I'll, I'll be in tomorrow. Seasick. Um. Oh yeah. So yeah. Anyway, these are my Darth Vader pajamas. I'm like, I get to wear these because I've been sick. Okay, we can stop with talking about you being sick. Well, the whole point of the, that's night. the whole point of the show. I don't want to talk about it all night. All right. Look at this guy. This is the ch one of the champions of next. Well, I don't know if it's actually one of the champions. Going to learn how to play it tomorrow. There's. This comes with belts. Belts. I think that's just to keep all the pieces safe. Oh, okay. For shipping. This is high quality shipping material, though. It's felt. It's much better than crappy styrofoam. This is just a uh, preliminary version. Ooh, look at these. Look at that. Tough customer. Did I already show this guy? No. Look at that guy's big mouth. Big mouth strikes again. There's a bunch of little castles pieces. And now I know how Joan of Arc felt. Huh? Smiths? Anybody? Nobody? Good. Anybody? Nobody? Good. Whoa! That guy's got a big mouth. Yeah, I know. I just looked at him. You missed your chance. This has got some cool looking pieces. There's castles here. So the idea is it's kind of like a MOBA in uh, board game form. What is a MOBA? Multi online board player ba -do -ba -do -ba. Come on, seriously tell me. I don't know what it is. Multi online player game. Okay, tell me what each I don't, of the letters I don't stand even for. really know. I'm you just talking know. shit. Well, that's fine. Tell me you don't know then. It, but I don't hear a MOBA. Your, I don't want to hear your nonsense. It's just like an online video game with people that go in and like fight each other. World of Warcraft. Like World of Warcraft, yeah. yeah. Here's some other secret cards. Oh my god. The green one? Evan E. says, One time I found a rotten wildebeest carcass. I unhinged my jaw, swallowed the carcass whole, digested it over six weeks. Felt fantastic. I knew it was a lie, wildebeest. I knew it was a lie. Unless wildebeest. you are a skin changer. We got another one there, and bud. You can change into a snake. Hey there, bud. Nick says, Aaron, nobody wants to hear you complain about your sickness all night. I'm with Matt on this. I love you. Well, I'm glad you love me. That was actually the last I was going to talk about it. I want to open some more finish treats. Okay. Like perhaps rye chips. Bet these are not gluten free. Here's our chance to get food poisoning. <laughs> <laughs> I think these are pretty safe. Have a treat, Courtney. You Take go. your pick. Want some? Candy? These yes, are candy. They're are. really good. Oh. Hmm. Lucas Miller says hi from Seymour, Wisconsin, home of the hamburger. Home of the hamburger? I did not know that. That's cool. Stay warm, Lucas. I've heard that the hamburger was from Wisconsin. Hmm. Apparently from Lucas. I mean, Seymour. Oh, those are really rye. They're all right. Almost like whole wheat. We also have oat chips. Maybe we can try those later on. Okay. Ooh, I want some licorice. Licorice. Get that fool. Licorice. Kidnap that fool. Finish licorice. This licorice... Some of it is hollow and some of it is filled. I'm gonna try filled first. Finish licorice. Well, I was wondering if you guys have seen any or all of the Oscar nominations and what you think. I have seen all of them. Some all, of them. All the best picture. What did you think of the favorite? I loved it. I thought the favorite was in really interesting. It was what, not what I expected, which was a great. Oh, you said you thought it was interesting. Yeah. Yeah. 
Olivia Coleman's just mind-blowingly good actress and a comedian, which means she's not supposed to win. Well, that I don't want to talk too much about this because I do that on the other show. But the best act- actress, that's going to be a tough race because I think they all deserve it. That licorice is really good. Sam Dean says Matt takes a shot and tests his improv skill by telling a weary ice fisherman's tale of rollerblading under the Tuscan sun <laughs> while receiving information about an ice fishing secret from a mysterious other person. Jesus. Where the hell did you get that? I can't remember idea? all of this. Give me that again. Uh, fisherman's tale, ice skating, Tuscan sun. Yeah. And then just a secret from who? Take the shot first. No, actually, I'll tell you first. Weary ice fisherman, tale of a ro- of rollerblading under the Tuscan sun while receiving information about an ice fishing secret from a mysterious other person. Tuscany was hot. Especially when I had me sweatbands on. And me knee pads. And I was rollerblading to save me life. I had heard tell that there were eight-foot marlin off the coast of Tuscany, and I was going to check it out, but my bike had a flat, so I had to rollerblade. Oh, what a, a rough day. I still feel it in, still feel it in me bones. Be quiet, my robot friend. I'm telling a tale. <laughs> tale of Tuscany. All right. But you didn't receive secret information. I heard I heard about the Marlin. Oh, that you did it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Neil Pound says they eat chips. You have died of dysentery. We have that game. And you have had that experience. I did. But I'm not, I'm not to talk about it anymore. Finish balloons from our Finnish friend. They say Sumi su- su- Finland. Sumi. S U O M I. I don't know how to pronounce it. Oh, I think that's in this letter. I should read some of this letter. Yeah, you should. The, the actual balloons are Gemar balloon, brand balloons. Uh, Sumi Belong 30 centimeters. 100% uh, Fabricato in Italia. Okay. Dear Peeps of Green Board Games, here's my long ago promised package full of finished goodness. Um, she then lists all of the things that she sent. Oh, you want to talk about the, uh, the shape of the box when we got it? Oh, the box was slightly damaged. Um, it looked like it had been... I'll just hold on this so it doesn't go away. It looked like it had been damaged, you know, like something had smacked into it or something like that. And part of the cardboard box was open, and then the Kilo candy box inside was damaged. Um, And it looked to me like maybe just like a giant rat had burrowed inside and tried to eat some of the candy. I don't think that happened, though, because nothing was damaged. It was just like a stress fracture or something. This is the Phaser Festive 5. Five different types of chocolate candies. I had some before the show, and they are tasty. I want to try one. Yeah? You Ooh, want, I haven't tried that. You one. want another one? Okay. Your loss. Oh, I did I did try the hazelnut one. I haven't tried the orange truffle one. I'm going to eat that right now. I don't know how big balloons go up in Finland. Away! Do not break this on the show. Someone's hearing will blow out. I almost did it. There you go. Sue me, Finland. <laughs> Nick, super chats. So when is the beer and board games Midwest tour coming? I want to sit in front now. I want to sit in the front now. I heard Egotistical Sniff is the opening. Uh, Egotistical Sniff is going through some real problems. 
uh, his mom made him move out of the house. And so he's really struggling. He's got two jobs. He doesn't get to rap as much as he'd like to. So um, I don't think he's going to be performing anytime soon. It's, it's, it's mm. tough. It's rough. He's down. He's he's being forced to make a living for himself, huh? He can't make his quality albums anymore? Well, I saw his latest Facebook uh, status. It's really sad. He said, I always thought I was dope, but it turns out I'm just a dope. <laughs> How many likes? None. <laughs> Man, that's rough. <laughs> Superstar egotistical sniff has been brought low. That's right. These are the Oat Crisps. They look very similar to the Rye Crisps. And they have a lot less flavor. <laughs> I think these are meant to have a dip. They're just like the base for the dip. Yeah, I think with a dip, those would be really good. Oh yeah, I see dips pictured on here and like oranges and stuff. Yeah, dip in an orange. That would make it a lot better. Okay. We've got more. What is that? Oh my goodness. None of these words even register as words to me. That's because they finish. What does it say about him? Uh, I don't know, but this is not on her list. It's not on the manifest. Oh, God. Unless these are just more rice or uh, rye crisps. Got a super chat from Ron Prysak. He says, hopefully Restoration Games will promote the return to Dark Tower Kickstarter on beer and board games. Well, even if they don't, we're still going to get it and play it. Oh no, these are like... These aren't sugary? No, they're rye. They like their rye in Finland. Gordy says try rye chips with cream cheese. Mmm. Oh, that makes sense, yeah. Those are good. I like those. Those would be really good with cream cheese, yep. You know what I've been making lately? For breakfast? When I don't have a smoothie? Toad in the hole. Where you take a piece of bread, you cut a hole in it, you put the bread in the pan with some butter in there, and you crack an egg in the hole. Ah. That's the toad. And then you use your little round piece of bread to dip in it. It's that really good. good. Toad in the hole. And there's a British dish called toad in the hole that's a whole that's a completely different thing. That's sausages and like a bread batter. Have you ever tried chode in a hole? Oh, not since college. <laughs> hey, you like that one, do you? <laughs> yeah, that was good. I like the way you said it, especially. Okay. Um... I'm uh, having fun just kind of chatting with the folks. Here. Someone says that's not toad in the hole. Mylar says that's not toad in the hole. Or you, if you're talking about the British toad in the hole, it's a different dish that I described. If you're talking about a third dish entirely, let me know what it is because I want to make it. Nick Super Chats, did you all hear what happened to the Shroud of Turin? Oh, God, no. What happened? Is this a setup to a joke? I hope so. Here, I'll look it up. Oh, <laughs> that's cool. Shroud of Turin used to create 3D copy of Jesus. Oh, that's what happened to it? Yeah. Oh, look, look at that. That's what, that's like how... Like they took the measurements and the, you know, the of the, of the image and then they probably constructed the image and they used a 3D printer to print out... Wow, they used a 3D printer to print out Jesus. Full-size naked Jesus. Of course, I mean, the Shroud of Turin is generally considered to be a fake. 
So, I don't know shit about the Shroud of Turin. The Shroud of What? What did you say? <laughs> Something's got Courtney laughing. We don't know what. Someone says toad in a hole is a hand in a basket. That's probably a regional thing. Oh, yeah. This game is horrific. Okay. That one's ruled out. I, I think we should try What Shall I Be or Family Feud. Let's try some Family Feud, player. <laughs> this is terrible, Steve Harvey. <laughs> All right, we all know the, the only fun part of Family Feud is fast money. So we're going to do that. Yeah, we'll just skip right to it. Uh, how many? Do you get 30 seconds for? I need 20 seconds for fast money. 20 seconds, really? Does it say on the back? Um, I don't know what that means. You have a shirt and a hat. That, that's Nickelback. <laughs> Wearing their shirts and their hats. Classic Nickelback. <laughs> Your friend wizard said just came in to tell Aaron to get well soon. Oh, I got better. I did. I did take some time, but I got better. And thank you. Miniature Flesh Couch says, hey, Matt, you taste the apple yet? No, I haven't. Have not. But uh, uh, we did get it. Thank you. You'll see that next Friday on Unboxing. Okay, you got to tell me how many, how long it goes. How's this shit ass virgin uh, family feud work? Shit ass virgin. Shit ass virgin. All right, you read that. I got something I want to tell everybody about. All right, if you remember last time, last Thursday that we did this, a couple weeks ago, uh, it turns out I'm a Laird. I'm now a Laird Yonda, or uh, Laird Ya, and um, I received in the mail now my official deed of entitlement. I am now officially a Laird. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I'll tell you, um, it is the, uh, I'm a laird of Dunan, Dunan's Castle, of Dunan's Glendarl Argyle. Argyle. That's cool. Guess what, though? The best part is, uh, I can go visit, I can, they can show me around, and it says here in the fine print, um, Hereby conveyed to the laird our rights of fishing the river known as Alt A. Coglin during only those times of year when such activity is permitted. I would love it if you would go to Scotland and walk into any pub and proclaim yourself <laughs> laird of Dunnan Castle. <laughs> and just, I would just love to watch you get your ass kicked. <laughs> I'd be like, take me to the fish. A pint for the laird. <laughs> fish. Okay, does anybody know how many seconds, how much time you get for fast money? Is it 20 seconds? I think it's 20 seconds. I thought it was like 30. 30 seems long. I don't know. There's only six questions to answer. Well, well just answer all of them then. We don't need a time limit. No, the point is that it's a time limit. Oh. There's only five questions to answer. It's definitely got to be 20. What's that super chat? Jared Murphy says, Are you all subscribed to PewDiePie? Please weigh in on the race to 100 million subscriber. Also, chickens. Uh, I think one of my YouTube accounts is subscribed to him just because I don't want a corporation to be the number one subscribed YouTuber. <laughs> don't really want PewDiePie to be the number one either, but what are you going to do? He's still number one. Yep, he's on his way. They're shooting. They're on their way to hundred million now. Trying to the uh, I think the uh, like the Bollywood like well I mean corporate channels. Trump is president, so I guess anything is possible. Are they all like one hundred million? Let's do this. Yes, yes. 
Okay, are you ready to, to play some fast money? Yeah, I'm ready to play some fast money. I'm a fucking layered. Look at proof of title. <laughs> All right. Let me get my timer. Ooh, Sean Byron says a shot of Malort for each of you. Fuck oh, that shit. Thank you, Sean. Ooh, you can you drink Malort. We did, yes. Why do you keep buying that shit? <laughs> because it's very popular. I walked away from him while he was just thinking of transactions. Did you? You didn't <laughs> want to be there when I was buying <laughs> Malort? No. Wow. The shame was too great for Courtney to bear. It's down in the cupboard. Why the fuck? 47 hours? Can't they do a countdown? That's, that's dumb. Alright. Fuck it. You ready? <laughs> I don't think that's true. Shoot Staffel. I'm pretty sure that's not the case. Um, <laughs> what? Are you going to pour some Malorts? No, I'm doing this first, and then I'll do that. <laughs> All right, Mr. Testy. All right, I'm going to read the first question Testies. and then start the timer. Are you ready? And I'm just going to shout them out or write them down? You're shouting them out. you got to go do them quick. Okay. Um, top what answers on the board? This is... Oh, this, this is, is the end st shit. Yeah. Okay. Parents yell at kids to stop doing this. Fighting. Name a word you use instead of friend. Buddy. We asked 100 women, name something men think they know more about than women. Sex. Name something you'd hate to drop if you were holding it. D dishes. Name something people love to do on a lazy day. S swim. All right, you got it in under 19 seconds. Yes. All right, parents yell at kids to stop doing this. You said? Fighting. 34 points. A word you use instead of friend, you said... Buddy. 39 points. Those oh. are both the number one answers. Oh, I'm so good! Some, something men think they know more about than women, you said... Sex? 15 points. Oh, uh, what was number one, dicks? Sports. Sports. Name something you'd hate to drop if you were holding it. You said dishes. Um... I think I'm going to have to give that to you. Uh, glass or crystal. Those yeah. are dishes. Yeah, that's what that's I'm That's 48 about. points. Yes! Number, oh. one, number one answer. Name something people love to do on a lazy day. You said... Swim? Uh, eh, I'm afraid I'm not going to give that to you. Um, uh, no, zero points. Zero? You were close with go to the beach, but... Oh, more, that's what I meant to there's say. There's more you do at the beach than... Beach. Swim. Shit. Okay, so add those up. Okay. Now, together, we have to get to 200. I think I got a pretty good uh, shot at it. Yeah, I got 126, so all you need is 74. Okay, so you um, you find a different one. One's in the middle of the book that I didn't look at. Yeah, all right, all right. There's the timer for you. Fast money. I'll get to him. I'll get to him. All right. All right. Um. Uh, uh. One, two, three, four, five. Got it. Okay. Here we go. No, read it first. Yeah. Name something you wouldn't want to be doing at home when an earthquake hit. Uh, having sex. Name something you should be careful not to stick your finger in. Electrical socket. Past or present? Name a TV show with the word family in it. Family Guy. Name something that comes through the window. A rock. Name an occupation where your job is to work on people. A uh, doctor. Done. You did it even quicker than me. All right. Name something you wouldn't want to be doing at home when an earthquake hit. You said? Sex. Making love. <laughs> eight. Oh, eight. You only got eight for that. Uh, something you should be careful not to stick your finger in. You, you said electric socket. 43 points. Nice. That should do the trick just about. Past or present, name a TV show with the word family in it. Family Guy, seven. Shit. I should have said fucking Family Feud. And who knows what year this was made. Uh, name something that comes through the window. You said... A rock. A rock. <laughs> Zero. <laughs> oh, we might not make it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what kind of neighborhood you live in, but... 
name an occupation where your job is to work on people. You said? Doctor. 51! That's it! Bing, 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 bing! We did it! We got the big money! All right, and our reward is this Malort bullshit. <laughs> yeah. You must surely just be numb to this by now. See, what happens is you get numb to it, then you go away from it for a while, and you, and you get a break, and then come back to it, and it's just as awful as ever. They're from fin Finland. Aren't they? Which one should I take it? Oh, you get it too? Oh, that's great. Oh, they're over here, Courtney. They're no longer in my cupboard. They're in the drawer. Get Courtney a oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. shout glass. Here, there's your favorite. Thank you. Yeah, this is going to be good. Once you pour it, we'll have ours. Meantime, I'm going to read a super chat. Lucas? Uh, there were a bunch of them. Have you gone yeah. back far enough? I did, yeah. Because uh, you already answered the Apple question. Yep. And you, you hadn't tried it, right? No, I haven't. Okay. Lucas says, I watch and rewatch BSF videos why way more often than I should. I wanted to thank you for all the laughs. Best to Aaron on his recovery from dysentery. Thank you, Lucas. He's fully that. recovered. I am fully. He's recovered. I'm fully recovered, and I appreciate He would like you to believe that he's not, but he is. Your support. I'm not, I'm not fully recovered. I need your support. Um, and Miguel Porras says, are you guys nanooking it yet? Uh, I'm still sleeping indoors. Um, I haven't captured a seal. But uh, it's pretty damn cold. All right, here's to the rat bastard who <laughs> bought us these. Who was it? <laughs> Sean Byron. Mm. It's mm -hmm. really nasty after you just brush your teeth. So oh, God, that's terrifying. It's like pointy. Courtney, how do you like it? Well, I've had it before. It's just it's extra bad because I just brushed it. Oh, you just brushed your teeth. Oh, God, she just drank it after brushing her teeth. <laughs> Oops. I'm kind of used to it now, we've, but again, but... We've got some more gifts from Finland. Look at this. This is a present for baby Cookie. It, oh, it, is, it? is a Pike plushie. <laughs> a little friend for you and baby Cookie. Look at that. She can bring it to, She could bring it on an episode. I haven't seen baby Cookie in a long time. I know, me neither. Some people thought she poisoned me because she didn't want to be on the show last last. Oh, she TV. loves being on the show. It's the highlight of her week. That's true. And then this is a music CD for Courtney, Scandinavian Music Group. Oh, I love Scandinavian music. That is so sweet. I don't know how many are watching. I wonder who she is tonight. I sent her a message, but she may have already been asleep. Oh, that's so nice. Due to the probable like eight nine hour time difference, probably eight. Yeah, Finland is probably eight. Yeah. Same as, yeah, that area. Is that everything in the box? No, there's more. Oh, good. All right, um, well, we won that one. Do you want to try another lightning round? Um, sure. You want to? Uh, I'll go first. Or should we time. try to best each other with that first, you know, that first one of those first rounds? Well, you can't really do that because you when can you, see the answers. Yeah, you can see the answers. So we have to do different ones. Well, I can try to, I can do it without looking. What's up, Jenny? We haven't heard from you for ages. It's like the good old days. It's also not going to work because you'll know the questions ahead of time. Yeah. So that would right. give you an advantage. We just do fast money. Yeah. You Here, ready? Let me, let me get the timer ready. Okay. Here we go. We asked 100 women, what do you hope the perfect man says to you at the end of a first date? You're, you're pretty. Name someone who's on a crusade to fight global warming. Ralph Nader. Name something that decreases in value each year. A car. Name something you'd see on the cover of an Easter card. Uh, a, a lamb. Name an occasion that has you trying to lose 10 pounds in a day. Um, oh, oh, I... I I, I was it over 20? Yeah. All right. What would you have said? Lose 10 pounds in a day? A yeah. wedding. Yeah, that would have been number one. Shit. Uh, wrestling match would have been number four. Okay. 
Name something. Uh, we asked 100 women, what do you hope the perfect man says to you at the end of a first date? You said... You're pretty. Uh, zero. <laughs> what was the top answer? <laughs> Call you, see you later. Oh, okay. Had a great time. I like slash love you. Uh... Women don't want that. Five. Five of them want to be told that you love them at the end of a first date. <laughs> All right. Next question. Thanks for dinner. I love you. Good night. <laughs> at the end of a cape date, that's what you get. Yes. Yeah, you get the I love you. Um, may I kiss you was also one. And good night. I don't, need to, I don't need to know all of these. No, just good night. Bye. <laughs> Four women were just like, just say bye. That's it. You read that super chat real quick. Sean Byram says, "You're right, Matt. I'm a rat bastard. Love making you folks drink terrible stuff." <laughs> oh, Sean, I love you. Bye. <laughs> Name someone who's on a crusade to fight global warming. This was a dumb answer. Ralph Nader was three points. <laughs> Shit. Second answer on the board. Of course, Al Gore was number one. What a dumb question. Uh, name something that decreases in value each year. You said car? Yeah, that's going to be number 56 answer. points. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes up for all the other failures. Sort of. Name something you'd see on the cover of an Easter card. You said? A lamb. Nope. <laughs> God damn it. Unlock, unless you were talking about the Lamb of God. Um, two said Jesus Christ. Bunny was number one, 66. Yeah, of course it was number one. Uh, and, then, and then we are in, yeah, so that was it. That was all you got that time, I'm afraid. Shit. Well, you've got to get... I've got some work to do. <laughs> you've got to get 141 points. All right, got to think the most common answer for all of these. Oh, boy. Boy, I'm a bad partner in this. Okay. The first one was tough. They say you are what you eat. Name something that might happen to you if all you ate was fish. Uh, diarrhea. Name something that's important to parents when house hunting. Uh, location. Name something a cat might drag in. Mouse. Name something you can use to keep your teeth clean when you can't brush. Toothpaste. Where might a school bus take a student besides school? Uh, you're out of time. Da. Sports. <laughs> Sports was number two. Shit, those were hard. I don't think we're going to make it. No, I don't think so. Okay, what? Name something you might happen if all you ate was fish. I don't think you really understood the question. No, what the fuck does that mean? Well, they say you are what you eat. So if all you ate was fish, you would develop some sort of fish characteristic. Like the number one answer was smell, or grow fins, or grow gills. What kind of dumbass family feud is this? So that's zero points. Name something that's important to parents on house hunting. You said location. Yeah. Thirty-eight points. Oh yeah. Something the cat might drag in. You said mouse. 67 points. Wow. We're still not going to make it. Something you can use to keep your teeth clean when you can't brush. You said toothpaste. Yeah, you just rub it in with your finger. Well, I should have said finger. Yeah. Finger, that's what I meant. <laughs> well, you lost out on two points. Oh. How much did I get? Two? You got none. Oh. What was number one? Gum. If you don't have a tooth. Yeah. Okay, I kind of get that. Kind of, I don't kind of don't like any of those. We got 164. We lost by 36 points. Shoot. Cooper Brown says, if I had a dollar for every crayon I ate today, I have ha I would have six dollars. Well, you shouldn't eat crayons. They're not good for you. I guess you can use them to survive, though. Are you having a survival issue? Because then, yeah, that would do that. Probably give you. <laughs> I don't think you can get food poisoning from crayons. If that's something you were worried about, don't, don't worry about it. I'm gonna. Are we all caught up on uh, PayPal's? Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Well, that was Family Feud. Pretty glad we'd never played that on the beer on beer and board games, but we played it now. Um. Tomorrow is our first live stream of the year, finally. Assuming that Matt or I doesn't get food poisoning from anything we eat in the next... Finished snacks. Half a day. Or from any of the finished snacks. 
Uh, we it starts at six p.m. tomorrow night. Deb and Whitney, Golden Girls, Champions of Nexum. Join us live.beerandboard.com or via Patreon if you're a patron, uh, supporting us monthly. It's gonna be really fun. We're gonna have special shirts for Golden Girls. Oh, are we? Yeah. This is news to me. You'll be okay with it. I already have a special shirt though. Do you? Yeah, I got I got I've got a special shirt today. For Golden Girls? Well, no, just for the show. Oh, well, just wear that for the first half. Oh, look at his sad face. I don't want to wear a dumb Golden Girls shirt. It's gonna be May. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, our friend from Finland didn't just send us snacks and stuffed fish, also games. Yes, these games crazy Finnish games. We can't understand or read. Well, this one has English instructions. Does it? Yeah. Okay. Inkin ar an African tatty. That is a game about a French man who smokes a pipe and wanders around Africa and gets into trouble. It, is that what the thing says? No. Oh, you just made that up. Oh, what does she say about the, these? Uh... Well, I think that's called Star of Africa. It is a staple Finnish in Finnish board gaming culture. And it's been for over half a century. It came with an expansion pack a couple of years ago, but sadly hasn't been translated into English. All right, it's got your money. It's got some little pieces. Let's take a look at the game board of African Tati. There it is. That's Africa. I bless the rains down there. Uh, well, that's something we can talk about. Blessing the rains? Well, the song Africa, covered recently. By Weezer? Yeah. Well, not too recently. But that album just came out. Oh, did it? Oh, yeah, they just secretly dropped it or whatever. Oh, you haven't even listened to it. No, I haven't listened to the whole album. Oh, just, well, then we I can't know, talk about it. Then. I know they covered those the two songs, but then that's it. That's all I know. Well, the album is all covers. That, not of that whole album, is it? Is it the whole album? Is it all Africa? I mean, all Toto? No! It's just all different covers. Yes. Oh, yeah. I couldn't remember what it was. Uh, food poisoning. I get a lot of information. I didn't listen to Weezer because of food poisoning. <laughs> I've only been listening to one band lately at, at all, ever. It's really weird. I've never done this before. Steely Dan? No. No, I don't listen to Steely Dan much. Ram Ramstein? Nope. Starts with the J. J. Close. J. Mascus? <laughs> nope. Although I like his voice. J. J. Jamiroquai. Nope. Four letters. Jamb. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. I wish it had been Jamb. No, it's four just, letters. Yeah. I don't think I've heard of this band. No, you haven't. It's just a band called Jezu. Drive like Jezu? Uh, no, just J. E. S. U. Why are you listening to them? I just can't stop listening to them. Well, they're, what's so exciting about them? What what, what kind of music is it? Just like an av avant. Sh Courtney hates. Them. Courtney says shit. She hates them. It's avant garde, like sludge it's metal. It's like S it's sludge. not even metal. It's not metal. It's just avant garde, like sludge rock. That doesn't sound enjoyable. It's really great, and I can't listen to anything else. This was like when you went through your um, what the hell is his name? What's the guy's name? Tan. I said Mark Landigan, but that's Tan. Tim. Tim. No, no. Um, Skrill Skrillex. Skrillex. So then you went through your Skrillex phase. Oh god, that lasted for like a day. I had like a dubstep phase. Oh, not specifically Skrillex. No. Yeah, I remember you used to listen to dubstep all the time. Yeah, but I didn't really. I wasn't that into Skrillex. I did like some other dubstep though. And then there was that that long stretch of time when you were into all those like spacey. Jam groups like explosions in the air, or oh yeah, 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 explosions in the sky. Um, uh, Probably some Mogwai in there. Yeah, Mogwai. Tortoise. Not a lot of tortoise. Um. Oh, you know who else is really good? The Deftones. 
Never listened to them much when they were doing their thing, but I've listened to it recently, and it's great. Huh. But then I just stopped listening to any music except for Jezu for, like, the last month. And you subject Courtney to it in the car? Yes. It just comes on. I can't stop it. It, might, it connects to my phone. My car does. And then it's, like, starts playing it. And then Courtney's just like, this filth again? She calls it filth? She well, used, she's going she, to now. She used the word filth? She didn't call it filth yet. Yeah. She politely tried to say, like, I don't like this. I don't believe she was polite. No, she's not wasn't. with you. She's she polite wasn't. with other people, but no. Yeah. And then I go like this, and I'm just like, well, listen to what I want in my car. Actually, I don't say that. She says that in her car. <laughs> Tyler says, Aaron, did you ever have a synth phase? Yes, you did. Yeah, in the 90s. I done a mixtape you made me when we first started dating. Yeah. Yeah, I used to listen to Slint. And I have a bunch of secret tracks. Jennifer Valente says, Jam Band Dave Matthew Band. That's what he's listening to. Yeah! <laughs> no, I don't. I avoid, well, I hear Dave Matthews Band still on the radio all the time. And you probably do too, and you just don't even realize it because he's everywhere. Um. Flesh Couch says, what's y'all's opinion on that solar-powered art piece that plays Africa on loop out in the Sahara? In the Sahara? I heard about that. I heard. I thought that was a joke. Apparently not. No. I like it. I like stuff like that. Anything that makes life weird. Yeah. My Far says, Aaron, did you ever have... Oh, yeah. I already answered that. Molly Cohen says, finally joined the Patreon after being a fan for 10-ish years, having seen Uncle Jimmy's Fuck Farm when I was too young for such things. <laughs> Thanks, y'all. That's fantastic. And thank you, Molly, for joining. i fuck anything at all. Even the color orange. Uncle Jimmy's Fudge Factory. Nothing says loving like anything at all. You can't do that character anymore, can you? No. Nah. I lost my court a while ago. <laughs> <laughs> it happens, mm -hmm. you know? But you just you don't even realize it. I, want, I need more of that candy. It's really good. Oh. oh, God, I almost forgot to change that. My I did forget to change that myself. Um, yeah, up at the top of your chat screen, there's a the, there's top chat where YouTube decides what you see, and there's live chat, which you just get to see everything. Choose live chat. Don't let YouTube tell you what you need to look at. Yeah. Unless you're like 12 or younger, then yeah, they could probably do it. It's fine. Uh, Yelfie Hawk Super Chats doesn't say anything but sent five bucks. Thank you, Yelfie. If you had a message, just type it out in the comments. You know what I would do if I was a multimillionaire? First of all, not a goddamn thing. Right. I don't understand these, these billionaires who are out working. They're filling holes. <laughs> I would try to make it so I spent all my money before I died. And then it went right up to my death. And I would die with zero dollars. It's like the last cent is spent on your life support or whatever. <laughs> the last shovel of dirt that covers you up. Yeah. I mean, I probably I probably have to set up a bunch of posthumous stuff to get rid of all my money because you, uh, know, you can just give it to charities and stuff. I would I would give it to the Aaron Yonda Memorial Food Poisoning Foundation. Yeah, definitely. And just, Cape just, and, and Cape Fund. No, not the Cape Fund. Fuck. No, oh, not the Cape Fund. Yeah, all right. Cape Fund can go bankrupt for all I care. But food poisoning—that's a cause I believe in. Yeah, yeah. You got to be careful of that shit. I would give it to Adam Korolik's charity website, let's do this.com. <laughs> AIDS research, let's do this. <laughs> Jay Bag says, I have a cold, but I'm so glad this is on. Love you. Bye. Hey, Jay. How's Boston? Get better. Oh, man. That chocolate is so good. It's very good. I'm going to get chocolate poisoning. 
I'm just going to go through the rest of, well, there's only one more thing. And I was instructed on the letter how to pronounce it. Oh, yes, dude, Melgan, please send oh. that. I lost the letter. That would be so awesome. Give me the letter! What the hell happened to it? How'd you lose it? Give me the letter! It must be on the floor. My father. Huh? Anybody? My father! I found my father! Oh, yeah. Um, that really bad acting. Uh-huh. And, <laughs> and more. I don't remember what movie that is. Okay, well, I don't know what it is. It's... Mints? It's pronounced Sifu, not Gifu. Oh, I don't remember it looks like heavy metal mints. It says it has xylitol, so I'm guessing it's gum or mints. Sweet. Those will take the place of my toothbrush. Oh, uh, oh, uh, ooh. Mm. <laughs> what is it? It's black. Oh, yeah, it's probably black licorice. Prescription medicine. <laughs> what is it? Tona would love these. I bet yeah. she would. You want one? Challenging candies. Challenging <laughs> candies. They're, it's black They're sharp, yes. Once one of Co Courtney's, can I t tell the story? Once one of Co <laughs> Courtney's coworkers uh, brought to work some, what was it, cheese? Ginger candies. Oh, Tona loves that stuff too. That she had made, like homemade. And she put the plate down and she, what did she put a sign that said? It was a little sticky note that said sharp next to the ginger candies. And were they sharp? Mm -hmm. They were very sharp. Did you try them? The ginger candies? No. This? Yeah, I think she, she could have some home flavor. Oh, did I? I, I wouldn't have minded sharp ginger. I heard ginger is good for food poisoning by the way. Mm. It's true. Mm -hmm. Ginger is also good for motion sickness. Really? Probably for the same reason it's good for... Yeah, Tona takes these little ginger chews every t before she goes to her aerial class. Oh my god. Because she's up in the air and spinning. I get sick all the time when I'm watching someone play video games. Get some ginger candy I'm gonna or... I'm going to get some ginger chews. Yeah. How will I remind myself? She... Courtney, can you help me remember? Mm -hmm. I say this to her about 40 times a day. And most <laughs> of the time she does actually help me remember. She says it really helps. I'm going to do that because I am having a problem with motion sickness lately. Well, have you tried... Sucks. Was it Dramamine? Yeah, I have know? some Dramamine. That does work. Oh, okay. Well, I think it's also really good for your sinuses. But, you know, if it's, I can take ginger, it'd be It'd better. be better to have a natural thing than taking medication. Yeah, I don't want to take meds all the time, you know? Why do you get motion when you watch other people play video games? Why? Yeah, I don't know. Or I sit in the backseat of cars lately. It's been getting worse. Like, it always used to happen a little bit, but now it's just as I get older or something, it's getting worse. I used to get car sick, but only in the summertime. I think you mentioned that once. Yeah, and then it it, it went away. I haven't been car sick in years. Just Weird. went away. I think it went away right after I had the initial weight loss, but it hasn't come back, even though I've gotten to be a fatty again. <laughs> Hey, did Emery get that tattoo? No, it's in the works though. He's got it all planned out. Cause he he lost the. He he got down to like three oh three. He never even got below three hundred. He's he was supposed to get to two fifty. He was supposed to get to two fifty. Oi. And he got to three oh three. And uh, but he still does personal training like a couple times a week. So he's healthier and fitter. But definitely didn't. You don't lose weight when you go build muscle. So. Yeah. Yeah, that didn't happen. He should just get the tattoo like that big. Uh, I think or he, was there a size specification? Yeah, I don't think he specified. I mean, he was the one who set the terms of the deal, so it's kind of up to him. But I think it would be a little bit of a cop out if he got it really small. That's too uh, bad. What's the size supposed to be? The size? Yeah. He he never set a size. But I, you know, it should be it should be well, seeable on like a camera. I'd I'm, say. I mean, if it was the size of a quarter, I mean that would be that seems reasonable. It's still no matter what size it is, it's just as shameful. And it's right. not like anyone's seeing that part of his body on a regular basis. Yeah, exactly. So, except and for himself. Even though it's Adam, it's still not as tacky as that Richard Nixon tattoo that Roger Stone has on his back. Oh, he has a Richard Nixon tattoo? Yep. That's why he did the whole, like, wow. 
That's uh, so. He, if Nixon was his idol, then he actually like achieved his well, goals. There. Well, his whole career is built on dishonest, manipulative politics. So it's yeah. no, it's no uh, surprise that he would so admire Nixon. He reached the fru the Nixon fruition, so to speak. Miguel. Well, Port he, he surpassed it with fucking Trump. Trump makes Nixon look like an amateur when it comes to duplicitousness and lying. Well, lying, yeah, because he just is free with the lies. And everybody knows it, and and he doesn't care. Miguel and, and the global whamming. Porras says, "If I were a billionaire, I'd pay to have Paul McCartney to only play music of the monkeys dressed as a monkey." And he wouldn't do it because he is also a billionaire. <laughs> yeah, he wouldn't. Yeah, he, wouldn't. <laughs> he wouldn't even take your phone call. Probably not. I bet he'd be on beer and board games though if we asked him. He likes well, Americans. Hey, he's coming to Madison. Should Paul we... McCartney would not be on Barrymore. Well, sure, we could ask him. Well, he doesn't drink. Doesn't he? He would not set foot in this neighborhood. Mm. He's yeah, he's from Liverpool. That's much rougher than than here. Uh, Lair Dom says, here's five bucks for ginger juice. Thank you. Hey, I will get it's some. It's a fellow Laird. It is. Laird Dom's. Oh man, it's so it's such a different perspective on life when you're when you are you own property in Scotland. It really feels different. I want to see you go into that pub. I'm going. I'm gonna go. I will go and do that. I will make videos and go over there. And you do it. you would have to go in there. You proclaim yourself the laird, and then we would like a pint of ale. <laughs> Bring it to us quickly. <laughs> The laird is parched. <laughs> oh, the fists and the feet that oh, would yeah. connect with your body. I can't wait to start making uh, the judicial decisions, like decide between, you know, different, uh, you know, of, my, of the people who live on my land when they have uh, disputes. I get to decide, you know, the so, result. So this is like a one foot square patch of land? Yeah, like in a pasture castle? somewhere. Yeah. Okay. The, the one with the like that the cow shit in it probably the Angus the Angus cow shit you should go there every once every year to shit on your land that would be cool yeah this is my patch I can do this and then you take a photo of it <laughs> <laughs> you have a little photo collection I'll Thru be... throughout the years <laughs> the layered shits I'll be... <laughs> I'll be known as the Laird that shits. It wouldn't be unusual in Scotland. Wouldn't it? Yeah, the Scottish people would be like, no, nah, I'm not surprised. They wouldn't. They're, they're, they're tough enough. They wouldn't. They, wouldn't they, like, they like local characters. <laughs> That's what I am. I'm That's now what a... What royal wave look like? A royal what? Your royal wave. I think it's this. I think it's this too. I did, and it's the, like okay. So of a bunch of people. Yeah. So I'm. <laughs> she talking, was shocked, and I said something like this, and literally, like a half split second later, she's like, <laughs> like pointing it out to me. Well, you guys have a thing now. She was uh, she was quick with that. She's she she sees it coming. You're becoming an old, not married couple. <laughs> yeah. So we're still cool because we're not married. <laughs> Cohen What's Stokes. Says needs me some more BSF content. Well, next Thursday is going to be really the official premiere of Beer and Board Games. I got an extra week off. Yeah, I you did. Even expecting. I know. You're welcome. I suffered for your pleasure. Thank you, my Jesus. Imagine if when he was in the garden, like the Bible says, he was sweating blood and talking to an angel. Maybe he just had food poisoning and he was just shitting himself and. Saying, oh God, make it stop. Maybe that's what happened. But he ate a bad fig. I mean, they had no refrigeration back then. Yeah. Yeah. You get a piece of bad meat, it could kill you. You couldn't save your pizza back then. Had to eat it all. Had Take the whole box, lady. No, what... Smoothies by hand. Oh, yeah. Crush it all up into a ball. One of those... In a bowl. Pestle? Stone bowl. Yeah, the pestles. Spencer Beard says, please say hi to my wife, Stephanie Chickens. 
Oh, no. <laughs> Sorry. It's kind of far away from my computer. Please say hi to my wife, Stephanie. Stephanie Chicken sounds like a local Scottish character. <laughs> oh, that'd be Stephanie Chickens. She's great. She owns the patch right next to you. She'll be out there fishing with you. <laughs> She'll take you out in her dinghy. Hi, Stephanie. Hello, Chickens. Stephanie. Hello, Stephanie. I hope you start so calling yourself Stephanie Chickens from now on. Steffi Chickens. Uh, we've got this. Is that a game? Sort of. Um, I don't know who sent this to us or why, but it just appeared in my mailbox and I've never received any communication about it. Oh, it's some so sort sort of a fucking top. Um, it's called I Top Challenge. And I guess what you're supposed to do is turn it on. And it, it, okay, I'll read this. ITOP is an incredibly sophisticated spinning top that can keep track of the number of spins spun. Oh, that's interesting. So uh, you just try to get the most spins and then it tells you. Uh, and then you can also like connect to Wi-Fi and like upload your spins and like become the ultimate ITOP master. But we're just gonna pull this out and give it a spin, literally. Okay, so pull to play. Yeah, pull it out so the batteries will start working. Right. And then you have to turn it on. Make sure you can see it. I didn't know how. This? And it probably just turns on if you start doing it, huh? Wait, yeah, maybe? Well, look at the instructions and see how to turn it on. Well, just spin it once to see if it works. Oh, wait, there's... Yeah, just says spin it. Okay, you ready? Mm-hmm. Oh God, it's flashing. Whoa, that's cool. Look at that, it's counting. And it tells you, oh yeah, it is. And it tells you the last high score, looks like. Oh, that's really neat. Wow, 140 spins already. Oh, it's winding down. Is he gonna make 200? Looks like it, yep. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, it's just still going. Oh, there it goes. And... Oh, those don't count. Those spins don't count. Oh, okay, so what did it end on? Well, when you spin it again, you'll see. Oh, yeah, you're right. Okay, here we go. Okay, 234 was your oh, last. You're never going to beat it. Look how you're wobbling. No, I'm going to beat it. Oh, you'll see. Oh, you're wobbling. You're wobbling. Just give it a second. Just give it a second. What are we at? Oh, you're at 200. Oh, come on. Hurry, 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 oh, hurry, hurry. shit. You're going to... Yes. Yes. Damn it. How could you be wobbling so much and still be going? Oh, you can wobble. Some wobbling is allowed. Well, you're over 300. Yeah. You got a ways to go now, bud. Okay, Wolverine. Bud. No, that was bub. Uh, I thought which is thought... what Courtney calls me. I thought you said bub. Looks like about 374-ish. What do you think? Can you beat it? Hey, turn into Kit. Look at this. <laughs> Are we caught up on Super Chats? Yeah. I don't think I'm going to beat it, but I'll try. Give it a real whip. Oh, that was a good spin. Pretty steady. Pretty damn steady. 376, no way. You can't rattle the table now. Oh, I am wobbling. I'm never going to make it. 240, 260. I might make 300. Oh, I got 300. I'm, not, I'm never going to get to 76. 330. Ah, 350. I think I got the 350. That's not bad. All right, let's see if I can top it. Get it. Oh, whoa, I really screwed that up. You shouldn't be counting those. You got like no, 30. I got like none. <laughs> Try that again. 
I oh, it doesn't. It doesn't keep track of the. Oh, it does. High score and last score. Yeah. I got the three fifty five. That's not bad. No, you almost got there. That was the better spin when you did it. This game's multiplayer. I don't think you can play it. I kind of want to just play a couple turns of this game. I don't think it's. Or take a look at it, or we should wait. I think it would be interesting with four people, but not with two people. Okay. And I think all three of these are. But we can show these to the folks. Yeah, let's do that. Ooh, three fifty. Oh my God, he's almost there. Three seventy. <gasps> Oh, wow. I just beat it. It was like 381. Okay. Okay, let's show these to the folks. These were sent to us by Aaron in Hell's Kitchen. He is a fan of... What are you doing? Go ahead. Well, I can't... How are they going to focus on me when you're spinning? Just do it. <laughs> it's going to roll off. No, it's going to stay right there. There's a lot of wobbling. Uh, that was just not a good spin. Did I get Did I get to 390? 390? Yeah, you got 390. I can't believe it. All right, so who? Somebody at Hell's Kitchen sent these games? You, you said that, and I was like, what is that? What do you mean I'm by that? I'm just waiting for this to be done. Ah, uh, it's dying at like 270 or something. It's still going. This thing will surprise you. You know... This is why I had to stop, because once it's spinning, you can't stop watching. I can. Wow, it's still going. 350. Oh, my God. Keep going. Keep going. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, God, it was like 370 again. 380. Shit. Take this from you. Aaron in Hell's Kitchen, New York. He's a fan of Welcome to the Basement. And he sent us these games from his dad's personal board game collection oh, yeah. to play on this show. We will do that sometime this year. Uh, it's hard to say when we've got What Shall I Be? The exciting game of Career Girls. Here, let me tilt it a little bit. There you go. Now you Here. can see it. Girls have a choice of six different occupations. Let me just take a peek inside real quick. It's from the 60s. The Land of the Lost game. Marshall, Will, and Holly on a routine expedition. And then, of course, we've got Welcome Back, Cotter, the Uppy Nose with Rubber Hose game. What? Jason, we. Ex Jason expressed uh, interest in playing that. Well, Jason seems to be thinking very highly of himself. <laughs> he can just <laughs> request to be on the show. Well, he didn't. I just Jason. told him about it. I said Jason was interested in playing the Welcome Back Cotter game because oh. he can do all the voices. Um. Oh man, that yeah, it's musty. game's been in a. <coughs> Yeah, that's another reason I kind of don't want to deal with it right now. Oh, God. That's going to give you game poisoning. You get too excited. Bad for airline hostess and nurse. You have monthly hysteria. <laughs> uh, you have a nice smile. Yeah, all right. This looks really... There you go. You had four options for careers in the 60s, and that was it. Oh, there's know. six. There's clearly six. Oh, is there? Oh, yeah, right. So what are they? Ballerina? Um, medieval? Dan dancer, actor. Princess? That says hostess, but it's a stewardess. Teacher, yeah. Uh, model. model. And nurse. Yeah. Okay. Sweet. Which one would you have chosen if you only had six options? Um, probably actress. Oh, sure. You don't want to be a ballerina. You just destroy your body. By oh, age, yeah, no. Age 30. Well, then what, then what do you do? A model, that's just, you know, starving yourself and... I guess I, would have, I taking, probably would have been a teacher. Taking diet pills. And, teacher's pretty good. Then I could have written some. I could have wrote stuff. Poetry. I could have written brilliant poetry. Yep, he could have written that poetry. I did it. I wrote it in college. I wrote it. I used to write poems about Courtney, you know. She still has some. She has a book full of them. I've got... Very inspiring person. <laughs> I've, I've written... I've written hundreds of poems. 
You have? Yep. Where are they? They're in my house. In the book. You just didn't do anything with them? They're all in binders and books. And you wrote them during college or after? During and after. Yeah, I guess I did too. I do actually have like two poems published though. Published. In like regional poetry it's like a thing. College. And, there, there is a college one, but one's a regional. It's more official. The Kenyan Review. Kenyan? We run out of things to talk about. I don't think so. This says Xylitol. Come on, play the few player. I want to see the land of the lost game. Marshall, Will, and Holly. And Slee Stacks. They should be billed. And Chaka. Oh, and Chaka, yeah. I don't know if I like Chaka, though. Chaka's always kind of that, like... What the f Okay, well this is uh That's all you this need. Is the best game ever. <laughs> <laughs> this is it. There's just this uh ins insert with the spinner and then four player tokens in the board. That's my kind of game. There's Chaka and his family. Oh sure. There's lo stacks, lovable apes. Dinosaurs. What about that guy who was just all stars? He was in that cave? Oh, I don't remember that. He was like an oracle type. And he was all like stars. I forgot weird. about that guy. That sounds awesome. Glory days of kids television. Just don't mess with Shaggy. As those of you who follow memes know. Because it wasn't him. Right. It wasn't me. He forgot that he... It wasn't me, Scoob! <laughs> There's just a lot of memes going around about Shaggy now. Shaggy? Someone ate all the Scooby snacks. It wasn't me! <laughs> how, how could Shaggy have forgotten that he gave his key to Scoob? And he's eating the Scooby Stacks, and Scoob <laughs> walks in and finds him. It wasn't me. <laughs> Rest your walls, Raggy. Raggy. Shaggy ate, ate dog food. Yeah. No one thought, thought a second thought about it. Dog food. 60s dog food had special yeah. things in it. He'd eat a Scooby Snack and then take a disco nap. Yeah. What's a disco nap? I think it's where you take uh, ketamine. Hmm. Both of those are drug references. Ketamine? Yeah, ketamine's a club drug. It makes you... You take it when you go out to clubs. Oh, yeah. Club drug. But it, it's, it's not like ecstasy, which takes you up. I think ketamine makes you... Wo I don't know drugs, folks. Dizzy? I'm just speculating. Speculating on drugs. Not on drugs. We're not on drugs. Uh, hey, don't forget we're giving away Rolf. And we're going to be doing that fairly soon. So if you want to donate, every 20 bucks gets you one entry. Last chance to do it. Go do it. Go do it. You seeing any interesting comments on there that you want to read? Sure. Um, Sean says, we'll have to make sure they have guests old enough to remember Land of the Lost. You know, the thing is, I think there's a lot of people that know Land of the Lost, even if they're not old. I feel like most young people know a lot of our cultural references. Yeah. They've, a lot of it's resurfaced via internet videos, memes, memes you yeah. name it. It's all, it's all resurfaced and repurposed and resurfaced. <laughs> Jessica says, "Don't make don't make talk bad about Shaggy. He will be forced to use two percent of his power." I don't get that. It's, it's is it from the is it from the song? It's a meme. No, it's a new meme. Oh, okay. It's very funny. If you know why, if you know why, it's very funny. Um, 
A disco nap is taking an afternoon nap so you can stay up late at the disco. Oh, yeah, that too. Like when I was over in England going to school for a semester, you would go out to the pub, but then that would close at 11. I didn't know you went to school in England for a semester. Yeah, for a whole semester during college. When I was like 19. I didn't know that. North of London, yeah. You know, I always wish that I had done that. It was really fun. It was so worth it. Um, lots of people tried to make friends with me. I didn't make friends with any of them. Why? They, <laughs> they wanted to make friends with you? Yes. <laughs> I just like was not very uh, good at making friends at that point. Very like either shy or just like closed off. I don't know what the fuck was wrong with me. I should have though because a lot of people wanted to make friends. Yeah. The whole cape thing really speaks volumes about <laughs> your personality. <laughs> So I read a lot of books, took a lot of walks, because the best thing about England is there's walking paths that are set up, and they go everywhere. You can go they anywhere They go to the loo. England. Yeah, they go to the loo. They go to the pub. They go to the lorry. They go to the parkway. They go to they the... They go to Leicester Square. Yep. I did go to Leicester Square, um, listened to the Pogues, all that stuff. It was really great. I did have, like, a, there was another American, a couple other Americans I was friends with. So it wasn't like, you know... As bad as I make it out to be. You know, you got to go back. Because now you're a Laird. Oh, yeah. And that even carries some weight in England. I know. I can, I can go, like, petition, like, Parliament and shit now, yeah, right? You go woo Tiger Aspect again. Oh, yeah. Here? Yeah, Tiger Aspect. Uh, we met them. Remember when, when um, the, they flew us over for... Uh, when we were in the height of Chad Vader fame, we went to Who's London. Tiger Aspect. They were one of the companies that did like Mighty Boosh and oh. all these comedies and stuff. I thought like it was that. Baby Cow. Baby the, Cow. The people we hung out up out with at the pub they and were, Tiger Aspect. They were from Baby Cow. It was, but there was multiple. Oh, okay, I didn't really production that. companies. I know they were one of them. There was that fucking weird girl who got really drunk. She kept saying weird things to us, and I just wanted her to go away. I don't remember that. She was. She worked for Baby Cow. She was like a. Was she the one who like knew Michael Palin? Maybe, but she just got really fucked up, and really weird. I do. That does sound vaguely familiar. It was a strange trip, whirlwind trip. Yeah, we met um, a guy who was friends with Douglas Adams, and he's also friends with Rowan Atkinson, and Rowan Atkinson was at that luncheon. Yeah, um, and there was like idle talk of us like having a, a a bit part for Roan Atkinson on Chad Vader. Extremely idle talk. Extremely idle talk. <laughs> there were, there had been some champagne at lunch. <laughs> yeah, pre-noon champagne. But the fact that it was even like considered or taken seriously it was pretty impressive. Yeah. I thought. Um we should have had a show in England. I always thought that if we'd done a show in England, then it would have become popular. Then we could have made a show in America because Anyway, Miguel Porras says, if Matt could be in any movie from Welcome to the Basement and Aaron in any video game in the Pimp series, which would it be? Be in any movie. In any movie. Tona, I can't talk right now. Tona, eat a ginger. <laughs> um, if I could be in any video game, uh, it would be Fallout... Why? That's apocalypse land. <laughs> Why would you want to live in that? <laughs> I wouldn't want to live in any video game because it's always peril. Because uh, there's no video game that's just like live in a nice house. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> Why? Because it's Apocalypse Land! Uh, I, if I had to pick a movie, it would probably be My Neighbor Totoro. Uh, that is a very pleasant movie. It has magical creatures in it that are friendly. Um, and uh, the, there, is, there is magic and wonder in the world. And it's also a beautiful countryside that you live in. And an old house. That's my answer. I, okay, so if it was Fallout 3, I could live at Tenpenny Tower. Um... Hopefully in the scenario where the ghouls and the people live together, not where all the people get, you know, killed by the ghouls or whatever. So, but the Tempany Tower is really nice. It's kept up by this rich guy and it feels like, you know, 
But then if you wanted to venture out into the wasteland, you could. Why wouldn't you live... What is it called? Is it called Second Life? I've never played Second Life. But that's what it's called? Yeah, where you like, yeah, but you like would, the real world. You would live there. No, you can you can give yourself wings you and kind fly of around and like, shit. Oh, yeah. It's just like a fantastical... Yeah, and you don't really have any responsibilities. Second world? I mean, I've never played it, so I don't know. I think a super chat just went by. Yeah, I'll grab it. I mean, that would be good. Or Dishonored would be a good world to live in. That is the world you live in. Dishonored. Dishonored. Uh, TC Super Chats, what's Rolf? And now you're entering it for it. Um, Rolf is... Where'd Rolf go? Uh, it is down here. Rolf is a game that we co-sort of created with Robert Burke. It involves Rolfing. You know what you should do? Hmm. You should go to the British news sites where they have comments and start leaving comments about like has anyone heard about the new laird of, of Scotland and just start seeding that out there <laughs> and see I, if you can get it, like an article written about you I've heard he had some really interesting ideas about Brexit. <laughs> yeah. I think he's someone who should be... You could get an audience with Theresa May. <laughs> <laughs> really start building up my reputation amongst the notable people. Just as this, of as this man of mystery. Yeah. Like there's this new layer. <laughs> yep. Then I'll float in on a hot That's air balloon. Good. And I'll say, greetings. <laughs> the Laird is hungry. <laughs> We shall have a pie. <laughs> oh man, there's so many possibilities with this layered ship. I uh, I love being a Scottish laird. This is the best. This is I'm living my best life, everybody. No. Hashtag Scottish self care. Lolo, laird only live once. <laughs> I could have a like a gold like you know a, a, a baseball cap with Lolo on it. FML, fuck my Laird. <laughs> <laughs> LOL, laugh out Laird. <laughs> STLU, shut the Laird up. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be Laird out loud. I'm oh, a Laird. Yeah, Laird out loud. Living. La Vida Lairda. Living l l Lairda Loca. Nope. Um. Okay, so you may have gotten the last entry unless anyone else throws in a last minute. You see anything in PayPal, Courtney? All right, you want to prepare the drawing? I could. Thank you. Sorry, I'm texting my wife. Laird my ass off. Lairding my ass off. That's what it would be. Well, Thanks to Alina for sending us all these delicious treats. Let's see if I forgot anything on this. Oh, uh, by the way, Jane Tim Baxter is the one who made, who got me the Laird. I should, I don't know if I credited her earlier. Jane oh, TB! I know there's one other thing that we are thinking about doing, you guys. Uh, I know we're going to, actually. Um, Have we talked about this in private? Yeah. I told you. What is it? The merch. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um... We want to make, so the Steins were very successful. We almost sold out. There's like 20 left, by the way, if you want those, get them now because. Oh, that's great. I don't think we're going to make any more. So, you know, like, like actually do want to be on board game Stein ever. They'll probably be gone in like a month. So go get them now. Um, I think there's a link in the description somewhere. Um, but we want to make some other merch now that's maybe not as expensive on the front end. 
to make, uh, and that would be either, well, probably like a bottle opener, we're thinking, beer and board games bottle opener, um, some collectible coasters that have quotes on them, right? So like the logo and like a quote from You, you the got show. that email that I sent you. With the yeah, like you, you had some idea for baby cookie ones. Yeah. And um, we could release, like, I would like to, I don't know if they'll do this, I'd like to release one like every month or two that is a part of the series and you can like collect them all or something like that. We'll see what happens. But those are ideas. If you have any ideas for merch that you would like to see us make, comment now um, and we will consider it. I will write it down. Meanwhile, while you do that, <laughs> somebody... Just commented and said, what the fuck is this? I was just searching up food because I'm mad hungry. <laughs> and then this video came up. <laughs> food? Yeah. Did you search food or food poisoning? Because oh, you because you put food in the title. Yeah, well, food is the first word. Live food poisoning. So if you came to this video to learn about how to get food, um, it's not going to help you. Sorry. We do drink beer and play board games, though. So you want to draw the winner? Oh, sure. Vinyl etched drinking glasses. Oh, you know what would also be good as shot glasses. Oh yeah, shot glasses. We should definitely do that. Um, Cape Dick Clay. Yeah, we thought about action figures, but I just don't, I think there's no... There's a lot of... There's no easy way to do that without it being insanely expensive. Hey, why don't you draw Ther this? Therese says com commemorative logger phones. <laughs> <laughs> those I think those would be expensive. I mixed them all up good. Uh, I'll do the spinner. Is there numbers on it? Okay, screw Just it. Just picture it. Okay. All right. The winner is Sean Byram, the Sean Rat Bastard. Byram. Cooper Brown says, where'd you schmucks come up with baby cookie? Uh, well, Courtney can tell schmucks. you... Schmucks? Yeah, we're, we're not schmucks. <laughs> I'm the schmuck. Courtney actually is the schmuck that came up with baby cookie. Uh, realistically, she, it's her baby well, doll. From Matt, her Matt had a hand. Matt had a hand in coming up with One it. One might say. It was, a, it was a combination of their two brains. The short story is that cookie was a Christmas gift. Cookie was an apology, so Christmas, an apology grift Christmas grift from Courtney's grandma. And I had a lot of baby dolls. She was always the naughty one. My dad made She was the naughty doll. I posted a picture of her on MySpace inside a trash can. And Matt was curious about her. Yes, that's right. Way back in the MySpace, MySpace days, she posted a picture of Cookie peeking out of a garbage can. I am curious, MySpace. And <laughs> Matt expressed interest. And then the character just fell into place for him immediately and then we uh premiered her i think in in a uh, chad vader yeah hal thompson brought her into the store i was thinking about the evolution of baby cookie because back in the chad vader days she had like this dreamy voice <laughs> yeah i know Hi, baby she was more hypnotizing <laughs> and then there was an in-between period between chad vader and beer and board games where she had kind of a crazed voice. She would talk. Yeah. She would talk like this all the time. <laughs> she was, that was like the middle period voice. Like when she did the Bing Crosby thing, she was just yeah. kind of crazy. Yeah. yeah. And now, and now she's evolved into what she is today. Yeah. Now she's got. She's well, just like you know, she grew up a little bit. You know. Sure. Like Cartman on South Park. <laughs> yes. Okay, we Mr. Penguin super chats fifty dollars. Hey guys, sorry for being tardy to the party. You guys freeze your balls off yet? Almost. Mr. Sloan, I made Aaron drunk last time, so two shots for you, if you please. Two delicious whiskeys. Lucky you. And thank you, Mr. Penguin. What else is down here? You made it, and just in time. We don't want poochin. Yeah, there's nothing that you'd like to drink down there, except for the whiskey. <laughs> in the fridge, there's, like, chilled shit. Chewy? Shot number one. Aaron, is it chewed? Yeah, chewed. Courtney and I have been watching BBC, and there's this particular British accent where instead of saying the word killed or anything that has L's, they say cued. He was cued. 
Well, that's like um, when they say that their R is like, I was, I was robbed. That's an English, particular English thing. Yeah, but not all over England, just I certain th areas. I think a lot of royalty has that, and it's a result of inbreeding. <laughs> really? Yeah, that particular, because cause the, um, the king, in the king's speech, um, the king that is portrayed in the king's speech, the real life king, had that. And it was, it was common in the royal family. I never should have feud my sister's hues. Uh, I've been watching. I've been watching a lot of Monty Python related things lately because they're all on Netflix. Like everything is on Netflix. Oh yeah. And uh, I have a I have something to talk about on the podcast. Our first podcast of the year, which we will be recording tomorrow. And if you are on Patreon, you will get to listen to it. It's something you'll be interested in. What happened? I was writing down someone's comment about merchandise doing my job. <laughs> hey, Type 1 just bought themselves a Stein. Congratulations. All right. Thank you. Yeah, buy those Steins. Dice. Dice would be cool. Hey, collector's items. These are great. All oh, these are all really great ideas for merch. A broadsword. Just got a donation from Stephanie Peak. For being awesome. Hey, Stephanie, thank you. Thank you, Stephanie. Thank you, Stephanie Peak, for your donation. Oh, and this is my second shot. A magic play mat? Could be oh, good. like Magic the Gathering? Oh, well, just like a play mat, you know. Like this one right here underneath the table. Well, they said magic, so I imagine you need oh. magic. Oh, yeah, well, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. We have not played Lords of Waterdeep. I have not played the game, I don't think. I think I played something like it. But I don't I don't think so. Beer koozies are still a thing. I can't I don't know if people still use them though. I I see them around all the time, but I haven't decided whether a beer koozie would be a good item. I don't think people really do use them. Like what would you really use them for? Maybe at a cookout, barbecue. Yeah. Summertime. I feel like they just they don't get enough use to that I would want to sell them. I you can use your Stein. And you would. Yeah, Stein's got a handle. Yeah. That's going to keep real cool. You don't want to drink beer out of a can anyway. No, you really you don't. You got to put that shit in a glass so you can drink it properly, yeah. even if it's cheap beer. Podcast? What? There's a podcast? Are we talking There are many of them. Tomorrow night are we doing You're talking about the podcast we're doing tomorrow night? Yes. Oh, okay, good. You have something for it. Podcast comes out, uh, the, it will come out uh, next Thursday or Friday, like right after the episode comes out. If you subscribe on Patreon. If you subscribe to Patreon at the $5 level, you'll get two podcasts per month. Yes. And you get uh, old live shows from the backlog, and you get, um, every two months you get a link to our live streams. When we record the show. Did we start doing live streams in season one? No. Really? It was all the way in season two? I might have even been in season three. When did we... St it couldn't have been in season three. When did we start doing weekly shows? That I don't know. I know the first episode was the that Game of Thrones yeah, when we did a change. test live stream. And then Mousetrap. Mousetrap was... 2012. 2012. Courtney knows. So it was season two. Okay, so season one was 2011, and then the, the, those few shows in 2010 were like pre-season one. Oh, yeah. God, there was some in 2010. Holy shit. Okay. Yeah. That's insane. Sean Byram says, Sleeves for Magic the Gathering and other CCGs would be good merch. Super chat from Sean Byram. Oh, I you just, just read, it. read it. Our winner of tonight. Yeah. Thanks for putting his name in there. Oh, uh, we should sign it, huh? I. I. I saw a movie. If you just like stupid, funny movies, like a stupid movie that's gonna, but it's gonna make you laugh. I watched the. Mm, I don't know if it's a Netflix or a Hulu movie. It's gotta be Netflix. It's a movie called Tag. Uh, it's a great way to waste some time. It, uh, you get a lot of laughs. Funny people in it. Tag. 
Uh, Jeremy Renner is in it, and uh, Hannibal Burris. Jeremy Renner is he Hawkeye? Yeah. And it's about these guys who have been playing tag for thirty years. And they've had this ongoing tag game, and Jeremy Renner has never been tagged. <laughs> so th this year they're going to get him. <laughs> Oh, there's multiple dudes in... Yeah, and they only tag. play tag during May. Like, all the rest of the year, there's no, no tag going on. Huh. It's fun. It's fun. It's funny. It's, kind of it's a got fun a, lot of, a lot of jokes and a lot of gags, but the plot is incredibly stupid. Yeah. That's kind of cool. There's another... There was another movie that came out either last year or the year before called The House. It's a Will Ferrell, Amy Poehler movie. It got really terrible reviews because it's a really terrible movie. But it's really funny. Really? Yeah. Like, you'll just laugh all the way through it. Oh, that's interesting. The you, house? You get, you get to hear Will Ferrell say the line, you ever been fucked with a fire dick? <laughs> <laughs> that does sound pretty funny. <laughs> all right. Is this a signing marker? It's a dry erase marker. I shouldn't sign this with that, right? No. Where'd that come from? I don't know where the Sharpie went. Oh, I probably took it. You're going to have to get it, son. I get it. We'll sign it once we're done. It wasn't me. I got to say. I've never listened to that song, and I probably should, because what I've heard, I like. I saw the um, the parody of it that James Corden did about Trump saying it wasn't me. Oh, yeah, was, I saw was that. Shaggy playing yeah. Trump. Yep, I saw that. That's pretty funny. That was pretty funny. Holly Summers is adding tag to her queue. Beer and Board Games Ketamine. Good for raves. I mean, there's a lot of better movies I, I could recommend. I suppose I should think of that. I mean, all of the eight Oscar-nominated movies, are they're all pretty good. Even Black Panther, which I'm... I'm Historically very critical of superhero movies, but I like Black Panther. Um, so I'd recommend any of those, particularly the favorite. Misanthrope. And Roma. The Misanthrope says, I kind of want that joke board game Matt dreamed about where you only had move one, nothing, and at the end start over. Game the game. Yes, <laughs> game the game. <laughs> yeah, that's good stuff. What episode was that in? Do you remember? Because I'd like to watch that again. I just recently went back and watched the uh, Brad Knight singing Good Luck Buttfuck song. Yeah. That's a classic. One of these days I want to go back and and listen to him tell the story about how he was nude cooking eggs. <laughs> yes. And his neighbor walked by. <laughs> I know which episode that was. I don't Be remember that. Because um, Cthulhu Gloom was the Good Luck Buttfuck one, I'm, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. And then, of course, him screaming, it's Snidely Whiplash. That's another <laughs> Yes. It's another good Brad, cl Brad classic. <laughs> like angrily shouting. <laughs> Beer and Board Games breakfast cereal. Oh, man, that would be so great. You would have to put beer in it. It could be like rye, rye flakes. It could, it could be like a beer flavored cereal there you go it, that would it'd be like a corn pop but have just like a, a subtle beer flavor to yeah it. that would be awesome i think that would work that would be really good and there could be a, the the you know the box would have to come with a game on the back the box would be a can oh a beer can yeah there you go hmm Probably can't do it, but I'm going to write it down. I would say we definitely can't do it. You never know. I do know. If you become that billionaire you were talking about, or millionaire, whatever would, it was. I would absolutely do it. Yeah, exactly. See, that's the kind of that's the kind of stuff you should do as a billionaire. Yeah, do fun things. Like, I just came up with this idea, I'm going to make it happen. Because I have the money to throw at it. And yeah, I don't it doesn't do matter anything. if it's useless or dumb. I can do it. That would be great. That's a brilliant idea. It was Cthulhu Gloom was the episode with Good Luck Buttfuck. Does any, has anybody uh, said that they know where Game the Game is yet? Oh, uh, 
Oh, I just saw AJ Rotini. He he's he he's the one who who brought the uh, the eggs story up to us when we saw him in Boston. <laughs> yeah. I don't think anyone said what episode it was. Oh, that's too bad. I'd like to. I'd like to. Uh, no. Oh, I have a quick question. Would anyone? I mean, we'll probably talk about Game of Thrones in our. You, are you? You're gonna watch it? I have such anxiety about it. I'm almost. I'm not. I'm not looking forward to it coming out. Cause I. Are we gonna talk about it in our podcast? Sure. Okay. So well, that'll it be. It doesn't something. start until March. Is it March or April? April. April. Like mid-April. I'm just not looking forward to it. It's just gonna make me so nervous and anxious. Why? Because it's there's so much. It's at gonna stake. be so awesome. It's they're breaking all these like TV making records. Cooper Brown says, blame society, Funkos. Oh, yeah, Funkos. Oh. That's what they should be called, the cereal. Funkos. <laughs> no, you know what a Funko is. No. It's one of those figurines. Oh, Funkos. They're like, yes. they're like, bat, they're like cartoon figurines of, of famous people. Yeah, blame society, Funkos. That would be good. Or bobbleheads. I wouldn't want a bobblehead of myself. I feel like they always look grotesque. Yeah. No, I wouldn't want one of me either. Maybe of Cape Date. Maybe if it was a Funko bobblehead. Yeah, that could work. Because they're cute. They even make Davros from from uh, Doctor Who look sort of cute. I've read the books, Anna. Oh, that is going to be terrible. 390 is the one to beat. Yeah, Alexandra, that's what I was talking about. Like, should there be a separate thing where we do Game of Thrones? But I don't know. If you're so trepidatious about it. I don't know if we should... I'm going to watch it. ...have a discussion thing that we I, record I, I, or I don't, what? I don't... I would not want to do that. Okay. I just want to bring it up on the, on the show. And, you know, not, I don't want to break down every episode and talk about it. Right, I know. I know. That can always be a little challenging. You know, I, sometimes I feel like when we talk about TV... Oh, we're up to 340 already. How'd that happen? See, when you don't look at it, it goes faster. It's true. Oh, it's going down. No good. No good. Wait, my turn. My turn. Oh, that was a good one. That's going to be a good one, I predict. 362 and the high is 390. All right. I'm going to beat the high. I don't know, man. You're wobbling. Oh, God, already? This is fun. I wouldn't think this would be fun. Oh, yeah, it is kind of fun. In a surprising way. I wonder why they randomly sent it to us and how they even knew who we were and who was it that did it. Was it a drug? Oh, didn't make it. God, that was terrible. That was even worse. No, that's going to be the best one. <laughs> if it hadn't hit that little ledge, that probably slowed it down. Oh, yeah, that was terrible. Never mind. Holy shit! Mr. Penguin's back. He says, how about game pieces of you guys, Baby Cookie, and everyone else on the show? One Puccine for each of you guys. Oh, my God. Uh, well, see, here's the thing about Puccine. Uh, normally, uh, we charge more for it because it's really strong. Oh, hey, it's the end of the night. We should just go for it? Yeah, we're about, to, we're about to wrap up. All right. All right. We'll do it. We'll do it. Thanks, Mr. Penguin. Uh, I, th I think Courtney probably has to come get some of this, too. No, I, d I didn't get one, so you guys... Oh, okay. <laughs> it was just for you and me. Courtney's here, too, if you want her to pooch it. <laughs> yeah, maybe, like, at the end of the broadcast in the future, we can have a pooching fire sale. <laughs> God, there's so many bottles of it. Um, What was I just going to say? Oh, wait. What? Yeah, Pip, we're, we're going to do that. Uh... Yeah, Pip, we're going to do that. Yeah. All right. Pooch it up. Cheers. Thanks, Mr. Penguin. That's powerful. <coughs> <coughs> oh, boy. I can just feel the heat uh, immediately. 
Hey, so tomorrow is going to be the first episode of the new season of Welcome to the Basement. We watched the movie Dark Man. Huh? Dark Man? Oh, cult really? classic? That is a cult classic. 1990? Liam Neeson's? Liam Neeson's dog? Have you seen that? You've seen that. Ian Peel, where they talk about Liam Neeson. I think I have. You have to see that. It's the funniest thing. Maybe I have. I'll write it down. What about Dark Man's Doe? What about Dark Man's Doe? That sounds really familiar. I probably just it's, saw it a long time ago. They did a bunch of them. There were these two valets, and they get excited. It's really funny. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, yep. I've definitely seen that. Yep. Did you see the um, Family Matters sketch? Yes. Oh, God, yes. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> that was an amazing fucking sketch. Well, we got some more, some more Super Chats there, dog. Oh, thank you. Uh, Vish Vishal Rao says, Cheers. What newer TV shows are you guys into? Need your recommendations. Oh, my mind is going blank. Um, I've been watching the new Punisher season, season two. Great show. You can't beat it if you like violence. <laughs> uh, the new True Detective is fucking amazing. Uh, if you were disappointed in True Detective Season 2, Season 3 is, they are back on point, believe me. Uh, that is great. Uh, High Maintenance has also started up. That's one of the best shows on TV. And, um, oh. Tony and I have been watching The Orville. Have you heard of this? This is yes. a Seth MacFarlane show. It's surprisingly good. Is it actually good? It's good for just, like, watching something on TV. You know what's, what else is good for just watching something on TV? Yeah. Especially if you're just hanging out with people. Uh, there's a, a show on the History Channel, called, and you can watch it on Hulu, I think, called Forged in Fire. It's a reality TV show. And the challenge, four contestants have to create... They start out by creating, forging an actual knife, like in the studio, okay. and then presenting it to these judges. And then one of them gets eliminated. they got to hone the knife. Then they get presented with the challenge. The two remaining people get presented, presented with the challenge... To create some sort of ancient weapon, like a sword or something like a sword, you know, uh, or a scythe like thing or whatever. And it's, it's a, really it's a blacksmith reality. It's show. really fun. Yeah. yeah. It's actually just like really interesting and, and uh, it's a lot of fun, especially to watch with friends. Cooper Brown says, Welcome to the basement. Should do a month of remakes of previous movies. There's another one you missed. Oh, God. Remakes, uh, remakes month. Uh, yeah. I will look at my list. Oh, uh, there was one other TV show I was going to mention. Um, shit, what was it? Poldark? Well, that's not new, is it? Oh, I guess it is new. Yeah, Courtney and I have been watching Poldark. Very steamy. Um, <laughs> 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 the, uh... There's another show, though. Shit, I don't know. I'll, it'll come to me. Um, Abel Trikovich says, I've enjoyed your videos so much. Midwest life! I love you guys. Thank you for giving me so much entertainment over the years. A cheers to you and everyone. All right. Thanks a lot, dude. Thank you, Abel. Appreciate it. Oh, and also, uh, Atlanta... I'm, we're currently watching season two. I think they're probably in the middle of season three, but we get it late because it comes on Hulu. I just watched the episode called Teddy. I think it's called Teddy and it's a man's name, Teddy something. It's, I can't even put it into words how good it is. It's, what it's, what show? Atlanta. Atlanta. It's Donald Glover's show. Oh yeah, I've heard of that show. Yeah, it's really, really good. I bet that's good. I want to find out what, what the the name of it is. <laughs> the Poutine Pimp says a shot of Belort for Matt. Teddy Perkins, that's the name of the episode. Watch it. Teddy Watch Perkins. It. Teddy Perkins. I'm writing everything down. Why do I get the nasty drink? Well, he always gives them to me, so it's your turn tonight. <laughs> Thanks, Poutine Pimp. These, yeah. these shot glasses are deceptive. I'm filling them too full. Yeah, they're gigantic, man. They're like three... Gigantic! A big, big love. 
I thought she was saying a big, big lug. <laughs> Cooper Brown says, Matt, looking like my lesbian aunt in that beanie. Cool, thanks. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, where they look like grannies. No, it says they look like lesbian bookstore owners. Oh, lesbian bookstore owners, yeah. Mickey Rourke and uh, Axl Rose in old age look like lesbian bookstore oh, owners. Oh, maybe Axl Rose will become one of uh, Cookie's Barfly friends. Oh, that would be good. <laughs> yeah, that would be awesome. <laughs> I don't remember getting it. Let me check if I can find it. Did you post it on Facebook or was it an email? Well, I texted it to you guys. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Oh, yeah. Uh, it looks familiar. Just sort of melty and pudgy and... Oh, well. It's coming for all of us. Yep, it's it coming sure for all is. Of us. <laughs> this, our skin is slowly melting. It's like glass. Dripping. All right, well, I think it's... Oh, it's just about time for us to uh, wrap it up. Is it time to wrap up already? Well, we'll be back tomorrow for those of you who want to watch us live. Uh, Two with... days in a row live streams. I know, it's crazy. For me, it's going to be four days of live streams, if you can believe that shit. Um, four? Yeah. Why four? Because Tuesday we were on Twitch, and then Wednesday we were on YouTube for GSP. Why am I not on Twitch? You can be. I don't even know what Twitch is. I don't it's know anything. It's just streaming. It's all streaming. Greg does Twitch now. Of course Greg does it. Greg does Twitch. He talks to people and he watches bad movies and yeah. makes fun of them. Yeah, he watches all the bad movies that we've watched on Welcome to the Basement. <laughs> no, he hasn't, he hasn't watched any of the ones we've watched. Yes, he has. Has he? Yes, he has. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he was watching Anger Tonight here. Was he? Yeah. Oh, we didn't know. Hi, well, Greg. He's probably going live tonight. That's probably why he was watching. Oh my God! They can't let. They won't let us stop, Matt. <laughs> we won't stop, I guess, if the super chats keep coming in. Stephen the Heathen says favorite heavy metal bands and albums. Cheers from Newfoundland. Keep on kicking ass. I have a, a checkered past with heavy metal, um, and I'm not sure. I mean, it's it's hard to say sometimes what is and isn't heavy metal. Like a lot of people say, Black Sabbath is heavy metal. I think Black Sabbath is classic rock. It's like both. It's both. It's kind of both. Yeah. But um, a lot of heavy metal I don't care for, but I really like Iron Maiden and I really like ACDC. Those are probably my two favorite. And ACDC is almost classic rock. I mean, that's just like Rocky here on the radio. Oh, no. ACDC I would not think of as metal. Really? No. Uh, that's definitely classic rock. Okay. Well, Iron Maiden is definitely, definitely metal. But if you scoot ahead... And you want to talk about favorite heavy metal, I would have to go probably to the 90s. Does Nirvana count? No. Smashing oh, Pumpkins? Or are they just all oh, grunge. grunge and alternative? Grunge. I mean, but the thing is, like, a lot of heavy metal artists say, like, nah, they're all heavy metal. They're not grunge at all. No, heavy know. metal has a particular quality to it. Okay. You're talking, like, Metallica. Black yeah, like, like, heavy drums, heavy guitars, fast. Yeah. And really aggressive vocals. Like, I, that's heavy metal. I do actually tend to like some old Metallica. I don't listen to it on a regular basis. There's two Metallica songs that I really, really like. The rest of it, I... Yeah. I don't want it. Uh, one. Yeah, one's really good. Yep. And, and uh, their song about Cthulhu. Oh, I don't... The Thing That Should Not Be. Oh, that's Oh, funny. you should listen to that. That's oh, really Oh, that sounds good awesome. Um, I used to listen to... Um, What's the poison thing that starts with A? It's not arsenic. Uh, open up and say ah. No. That's a poison album. No. Anthrax? No. The, 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 yes, Anthrax. Thank you. I used to listen to Anthrax. Uh, I like oh, the Anthrax. They're, they're kind of clowns. A little bit. A little bit. Um, shit. And then, you know, you can get into a sticky situation where is it, it what's, is there a difference between heavy metal and thrash metal? And like skater music, like suicidal tendencies, like I wouldn't call them heavy metal. Right. So, you know. If you're just talking straight 
well-defined heavy metal. You're um, talking like Metallica, Metal, yeah. Megadeth. Then I would just have to say Metallica. Stuff like that. Iron Maiden, definitely. Oh, Matthew says that the episode with the game, the game bit is in the sex toy poker episode. Thank you. Game the game is in the sex toy poker episode, which I believe has our pals who now live in New York. Uh, duh. Duh. Wow, that Puchin, man. It really is not good for you. Yes. Oh, wow. Brian and Stacy. I thought that was from a long time. Oh, I'm, thinking, I'm thinking Sex Maniacs. Sex Maniacs that, was a... That really dumb... That was a, oh, man, that was old. But, yeah, that was dumb. Um, I'm supposed to get a shot of Malort. Uh, duh. Mr. Penguin says, Malort for Aaron. Can't let Matt suffer alone. Ha-ha. I, I really do have to go, because I have a bunch all of stuff right, I need well, to do. Well, we got to get through all these super chats, so thank you, Mr. Penguin. Uh. Ooh. Oh. Matthew oh. Goldman says, oh. I found oh. the episode. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh. We, Courtney just read that Matthew Goldman's super chat about sex toy poker. Matthew Goldman, thank you for this for the heads up about sex about my request. The Puchin Pimp says, Aaron, I haven't forgotten you either. A shot of Newt. I don't have Newt yet. Emery still has all the Newt. Um, so I don't have it. I could have, you know... More Puccine. Uh, no, not Puccine. Jesus Christ, more. that's far too expensive. And strong. Oh, you want more Malort? Oh, God, do I have to? Well, he could have bought you something. Fine. <laughs> Fucking more Malort. That's plenty. These glasses are huge. I know, Jesus. I'm sorry. I, I, I can't figure it out. <sighs> Puccine, Puccine, Pam. Puccine, Pam. Hey, it's the Puccine, Pam. <laughs> That's that voice you never let me do. <laughs> Which one? No, it sounds like the other goblin. I think that's a friend. I think this is a friend of Baby Cookie. <laughs> hey, what's going on, man? <laughs> yeah, I agree. <laughs> that might be Baby Petey. I have a question. Hey, it's me, Baby Petey. For you. <laughs> Where's Cookie? <laughs> <laughs> that would be a great voice for Baby. She's been gone for days. That would be awesome. <laughs> Baby, I'm trying try to take care of Scrams. Baby Petey, you have a lot to answer for. Scrams is scratching, scratching up the couch. <laughs> okay, now Baby Petey's got to make an appearance. we got to introduce... I think it should be that dark-skinned baby. I yeah, that well, that's what, we, that's, a, yeah, that's what I think, too. Yep. All right, it's happening now. It's, we, it's in stone. Baby Petey, appearing on Beer and Board Games this now, season. I have to remember this voice now. You can come back to this he video. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Uh, what's the time code? Where where are we at right now? <laughs> one four no, and that's not one. That's not right. Oh, it's, it's we're, about we're, an we're, hour and five minutes. No, we're past two hours. No, it's two hours. Two hours and five minutes. Like I forgot hours. about time now because of the pitch in. Cooper Brown says, "What if J? What if JFK want shot and his head just did that? Wasn't? <laughs> what if JFK wasn't shot and his head just did that? Oh god. Mm. It's mm. it's one of the theories that's out there." Not at all. Now it is. <laughs> yeah, now it is. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, you guys. I don't want to go, but I got to go because I got stuff I need to do tonight before I go to Betty Bye. Hold on. There's so, two more super chats. I'm going to finish this and, and then, then I'm going to start go. to put my winter gear on. All right, that works. Adam Frescona says, More Chad Vader. Um,. The only thing I can tell you for sure is that there's one more Chad Vader video that we haven't released and that we need to release. Say what? The one, it's not like a series video, it's just a Chad unboxing something. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And we have to do that. Yeah, we do. Because I want to get that item mo away from here. <laughs> what? The large fin helmet. Yeah. Well, well, well. Yeah, so we'll, there's we'll, at least one more, and then unless some big company or some rich person says, hey, here's a big budget to make more Chad Vader, I don't can't say that it'll ever happen again. Because we can't actively go out and pitch it um, and try to make it. It just it won't work. So I don't think Disney would like that. And YouTube ad revenue don't pay the bills no more. YouTube ad revenue pays for nothing anymore. It's about enough to buy a bag of groceries. Amby, Amby? Hey, Amby McKibben. <laughs> Come on, get it together. Sorry, Amber. 
Amber McKibben, what are your thoughts on Queen? Are you talking about the movie or the band? There's, Wait, a, there's a movie called Queen? Queen? No. It's called Bohemian Rhapsody. Fool. Whatever. I don't know. I had all the shots. Queen is one of those bands that you don't really see them as part of the kind of pop landscape of the era. They're sort of separate. Like, they're so unique. It's like Van Morrison. Yeah. Van Morrison is just his own thing. Like T-Rex. They're, they're just... Like, they don't exist in, in with the rest of pop music. They're just... I don't know if I'm making sense, but... Yeah, Queen is good. I... Don't stop them now, because they're having a good time. They're having a ball. I used to listen to Queen a little bit. They were fine. When I was 17, I drank some very good beer. I drank some very good beer I purchased with a fake ID. <laughs> My name was Brian McGee. I stayed up listening to Queen when I was 17. It's a terrible Homer Simpson. That was, gonna... that was Kermit the Frog singing that yeah, song. Yeah, I was like, why is Kermit singing that song? I was going to sing I Learned the Truth at 17. I don't know that song. Janice Ian. Who? Janice Ian? Oh my god, I don't know if I know that. Janice Ian and her mole. Not planning to go to PAX East, as far as I know. Probably going to Gen Con, though. No, I'm definitely going to Gen Con. Look at your hair. <laughs> Sorry, I fucked up your hair. <laughs> you look like someone in Fallout now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah, that's true, I do. That's kind of what they look like. All right, the whiskey's almost gone, friends. All right, this is it. We're doing it. Thanks for doing it. Thanks for doing it. Oh, God, I got to go outside again. Fuck. Oh, yeah. Oh, let's see what the temperatures is. I'm hungry. I'm... Wind chill. I, it's minus seven from an activity wind chill, I think. There's not a lot of wind out unless the wind is picked up. When I was coming over here, there was no wind. Oh, it's going to snow? When is this cold? It's so weird when that it snows. It was a very good year. When I was 17. That's a better home. It's a little bit better, yep. I'm getting there. Aaron, has anyone told you you look like a young David Gilmore? Wait, I don't remember who David Gilmore is. He doesn't look Boyd. like he doesn't look like David Gilmore. Someone else actually said that once. Who is it? From Pink Floyd. Really? Yeah. That's cool. I can dig it. I like Pink Floyd. Graham Pie is at minus 19 wind chill. Oh, very good. In mid-Michigan. Yes. Michigan also very cold right now. Sean says, this was great. And thank you. Thank you, Sean. Icarus says, I'm handsome. Thank you, Icarus. That's very kind of you. I hope so we see some... I hope that we see some of you tomorrow night during our regular live recording of Beer and Board Games. Otherwise, look forward to... Next Thursday, when we premiere Beer and Board Games Season 9, it's been nine seasons. It's been nine seasons. It's been nine seasons. And, uh, yeah. Thanks, everybody, for donating. It's very kind of you, and we appreciate that. And we had a good time, and hope you did. Uh, Matt won the top game. We won one Look family Look at what feud. I need to do to go out and survive. You know, it takes like 10 minutes to get frostbite, so you'll be fine. What if I fall in the ravine? Yeah, that's definitely like a possibility. Oh, yes. I'll go in there and have a dead birth. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, everybody. Thank you, Courtney, for helping out on this extra night of help. Stay warm, everybody, if you're cold. See ya.